I'm sure you've seen those fun, addictive videos of bouncing balls trying to escape from a circle with an open gap. As much as I enjoy rooting for the ball, I would rather figure out how to coat this myself. I believe you are here for the same reason. So let's dive in. Let's draw a circle. We'll be using line renderer with 100 segments and cosine and sine equations to find the x and y coordinates that define the circle shape. We will center it on the player screen. Nice, but we can do better. Time to add functionality to control the line width, color, and radius. We want to expose these controls via the Unity Editor. Add the following class variables. The range function will come in handy to control the line width and radius via sliders. Okay, this is therapeutic. I needed that. But we have work to do. Time to place a ball inside the circle. We will add the create ball function and configure the ball as a sphere unity primitive type. Set the local scale, material and color. Lastly, let's position the ball at the center of the screen. Go ahead and code the update ball position function. The current ball velocity will be added to the ball position class variable in each call. To check for collisions, we will determine if the ball's edge has touched or surpassed the circle's outline. If so, we will find the direction the ball is traveling in reference to the center of the world center. We will normalize it or set its length between 0 and 1 to find the normal of the hit point. Then we will use the vector3 reflect function and pass in the current ball velocity and normal of the hit point to determine the exit velocity that will be used in the next call of this function. Finally, we will move the ball back along the incoming path as to not surpass the circle's edge. Let's finish up two more functions. We need update ball to dynamically change the ball size and color when we change the class variable values in the Unity Editor. We'll also add the apply gravity function to add gravity to the ball. This is exciting! Press play. That's a wrap for part one. Please let me know what you would like to see in part two. Maybe we can focus on fun ways the ball can escape from the circle. Thanks for watching.